Alright everyone, this is Ryan again. Uh, this is going to be a fifth video dealing with WordPress blogs. I'm going to show you how to deal with widgets in your WordPress blog. Now, if you haven't watched the prior four videos, you'll want to do that first because I show you how to set up a blog easily, um, how to change a theme, how to create a post, how to deal with plugins. So if you haven't seen those four videos, I want you to head over to your address bar at the top of your page and type in www.u and then save domains.com the letter u save domains.com and over on the right side margin of the page you will see some video tutorials now if you scroll down a little bit in this section you will see videos dealing with WordPress just start with the first one how to install and I'll quickly show you how you can get your own blog up and running within 15 minutes so basically it's less the time than that but the install takes a couple minutes so go over there first watch those first couple videos and then uh, you can come back and watch this one so this is the fifth video on working with widgets so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to head over to my blog that I set up in the prior videos here's my blog I want you to pay special attention to the right side margin here okay I'm going to be working with widgets here in a moment, and this side's going to change a little bit. So I've logged into my blog. I'm going to go into my admin section right here. This is my control panel for my blog, my dashboard. Over here on the left, as mentioned in the prior videos, this is where you administer everything. The widgets can be found under the appearance section. If you don't see them, just click on the little arrow next to Appearance, and it'll appear. I'm going to click on the widgets. In the middle of my screen, I will see my available widgets here. Below it, I'm going to see my inactive widgets. Now, I can easily activate any of these inactive widgets by clicking on them, holding my mouse down, and dragging them up to the active widgets and I can also do the vice versa. I can inactivate any of these by clicking on it, dragging it down to the lower section. Now widgets basically are components that you can quickly add to a blog, like a calendar, categories, recent posts, clouds, search functionality, um, recent comments. But in this video I'm going to show you how to work with adding your own HTML to your uh, widget. Now you've probably been to a blog before, you probably noticed advertising on the right side margin, so I'm going to show you how you can quickly add something like that. I'm going to go down here to the text one. It says arbitrary text or HTML. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag it up here to the top right margin. Just under the top right side bar and I'm going to let it go. Now you will see here that I have the ability of entering a uh, title or some HTML right into this section. I can add text or I can add HTML. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste my HTML in there. And there it is. Now what I can do is if I want to add a title I can just type that in or I can leave it blank. I'm going to click save. Let me move this over a little bit. I'm going to click save here. It's saved. Now I'm going to click close. So now it is here and it is up and running and I'm going to show you what I just added to my blog. I'm going to go over here and click on the name of my blog. It'll load up my home page and if you look over now, you'll see that I just added this little image of this little guy. Now I can quickly remove that if I want to by going back to my dashboard. I can go down to the widgets. I can scroll over a little bit here to my active widgets that are up and running in my right top right sidebar. I'm going to click on the little arrow here to the right of text and there's my HTML and if I wipe that out 
and I scroll down and I click save and then I have to close it I can go back to my live website click up here again on the name of my blog and you will see that it is no longer there it's completely gone if I want to bring back all the other previous things that were there I can go back to my dashboard I can go over, well, I have to bring up my widgets first. I can go over here to the right side margin and I can click to the arrow next to text, scroll down a little bit and I can click delete. And it is going to delete it. It's working on it right now. I'll just give it a second here. My computer's chugging here. Okay, it's gone. So now watch. I'll go back to my home page again to check the status of what it looks like. Click on the name up in the top left corner, and you will see all the prior widgets are loaded back up. My calendar, recent posts, my cloud, meta. So that's how you work with widgets. So feel free to go in there and play with your own widgets on your own blog once you get it set up. and that's how you can work with widgets for your blog now remember there's other videos over here we have videos regarding installing Joomla Drupal Zencart simple machines we'll be adding more but please tell your friends about us over at usavedomains.com alright thank you